No, this isn't a runaway truck, and no, it's not an outtake from the action movie Speed. This is a conventional 18-wheeler that drives itself, thanks to a $30,000 retrofit. San Francisco startup Auto, which Uber bought this summer, made history with this truck. It completed the world's first truck autonomous delivery, carrying 50,000 cans of Budweiser from a brewery in Fort Collins, Colorado, to Colorado Springs, 120 miles away. The human drove the truck onto the highway, flipped on self-driving mode, and spent the next two hours of interstate chilling in the back seat. Autonomous cars may get all the buzz, but teaching trucks to drive themselves could deliver major economic and safety benefits. With 3 million drivers in the U.S., trucks carry 70% of American freight. But there still aren't nearly enough human drivers to do the job. Most new drivers quit within a year. And because you people can't stop buying stuff online, demand is only going to go up, and that shortage will just get worse. And roughly 400,000 trucks crash every year, killing about 4,000 people and costing the economy billions of dollars. Human error is nearly always to blame. Otto says the solution is a robot that doesn't get tired, angry, drunk, or distracted. So we're able to perceive everything, we're able to act faster, and as a, a result, we're able to make that truck driver monitoring the system and the act of driving much safer. To take a conventional truck and turn it into a self-driving big rig, Otto's got to add four key ingredients. One is up top, that's a forward-facing camera. This is one of three LiDAR detection systems that see the world with lasers, much the way radar works. Speaking of radar, you've got one of those too. This guy right here looks hundreds of yards out ahead. The fourth key ingredient to making this truck drive itself is giving it really good understanding of the world, and that means detailed maps. And once it's got that, it can combine it with the information from the camera, the LIDARs, and the radar that give it a real-time perception of the world. All of that together makes it capable of understanding what's going on around it and how to act accordingly. Later that morning, I climbed into the truck for a ride down Interstate 25 to see how it works. You guys ready? And it performed flawlessly. Otto's not the only player here. Daimler and Volvo are testing their own autonomous semis. And the folks who need trucks to move their stuff are already interested. And if you look at transportation, we think that self-driving technologies can improve safety, reduce emissions, and improve operational efficiencies of our shipments. But before Auto can cash in on the benefits of robo-trucking, it has to make sure its system will handle anything that can happen on the highway. Construction, bad weather, cars spinning out. And over the next couple of years, we'll continue to develop the technology so it's actually ready to encounter every condition on the road. Ultimately, the answer will be to remove the human from the cab altogether, and that means losing jobs. The driver will remain a necessary part of the system, at least for the foreseeable future. But with all that extra time to relax on the road, maybe they can knock out a novel or two, or at least catch up on some sleep.